Hey, what's up guys? This is Cryptic Media and I'm here to bring you a video and talk about something that caught my attention. Titanfall developer Respawn Entertainment, the uh, ones that left Infinity Ward or were fired from Infinity Ward, you know, the masters of Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, will appear as part of a panel at PlayStation Experience this week. And the reason why this is weird is because the California studio has only released one title to date, the um, Xbox and PC exclusive Titanfall, making its presence at a Sony-centric convention kind of strange. Um, could this all be concerned to Peter Moore's uh, shock announcement? However, we are waiting to see what the special announcement is, as the journalist has not yet released what it was. However, according to GameSpot, the panel that the studio will appear at is named Greatness for Everyone, and will center on getting a job in the industry. So that does make more sense. Now, considering that they only have one, you know, game released, which is an Xbox and PC exclusive. However, um, we still maintain that ambiguous language was used when EA revealed that the company's shooter wouldn't be coming to the PS4, as it was described as an Xbox and PC exclusive for the life of the title. Surely that means... A hypothetical Titanfall Ultra Edition would be free to release on Sony's next-gen machine. We do know that the developer is working on a second project, but it seems far too early for a reveal related to that. Perhaps we're reading into things far too deeply, but we still reckon that the inclusion of non-PlayStation developer at a PlayStation Experience panel is strange. So, what does this mean? Does this mean that... They wanted Titanfall for the PS4 for Sony consoles, or I don't think that's what it means. Um, it's kind of far-fetched, in my opinion, anyway. Otherwise, they would have released it on the PS4. Why I think Titanfall is an exclusive on the Xbox One, because um, you know that the guys from Respawn Entertainment aren't. Xbox fanboys because of the fact that their Call of Duty franchise has technically been, um, what do you call it, multi-platform considering Modern Warfare was on the PS3 and Xbox 360, okay, Modern Warfare 2 was on the PS3 and Xbox 360, so that's why I feel like they're not Xbox fanboys. They don't they don't prefer the Xbox one over the PS4. And the reason why I think they made Titanfall for the Xbox one was because Microsoft was looking for that blockbuster game to draw attention over to their console as it was just being released up against you know the front runner the PS4. So, if you were Microsoft, wouldn't you pay talented game makers a shit ton of money to go to your console only and considering that respawn entertainment was kind of a new company um... they probably needed that cash as a startup to kind of you, you know um... set a set a base for their company so they can release more games in the future so i feel like microsoft paid them a ton of money and they took the opportunity and said hey okay i'm gonna take this money create a game for your console and maybe on the PC get some money and build a foundation and a base for the rest for the, for the future of my company basically kind of like how Bungie did with Halo um P or uh, Xbox exclusive Microsoft exclusive and then they create Destiny they like, they built themselves a huge name off of Halo and then they made Destiny like okay so how, how how can we make more money off this? We have so much money from Halo. Let's make even more money. Release Destiny on the PS3. 
Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One, and the PC, of course, which, in my opinion, is not not a bad idea. I mean, you build up your company, you know, you kiss ass for a little while until you become a big dog. You start as a small dog, you kiss ass until you become a big dog, and then you run everything. <laughs> you know, you make decisions for yourself, kind of like a toddler. Like, if you're a kid, you try to kiss ass to your parents to get whatever you want until you become a big dog, and you can afford most of the stuff you want if you work hard for it build yourself a base you're set for life and guess what you don't need your parents anymore that's that's uh the analogy i'm using for this situation that's how i feel it is anyway this is logan from cryptic media gaming thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe and leave your opinion on this topic and an article to the source will be in the description down below thanks for watching